What's wrong, coach? They're censoring panty shots and skull girls, Brendan. Oh, I didn't know you played fighting games, coach. I don't, Brendan. I I bought the new Street Fighter. I, I saw Cammy's outfit. I'm, get, I'm, I'm getting around to playing it. Oh. Then why do you care? Let me tell you about the culture wars, Brendan. Coach? Coach. What? You were saying? It sucks, Brendan. It's woke, Brendan. Hello, beta testers. <laughs> Skullgirls is a fighting game that sold itself on appealing characters. Now, in the hands of new developers, they have retroactively patched the game to change and remove the appeal that was the very reason that some people even invested. Before I continue, I feel Steam should make an exemption and allow anyone seeking a refund on Skullgirls to be granted one, because an example should be made of Hidden Variable, the studio behind this factual alteration and removal of aspects of a product that do not align with the new current sensibilities of these easily triggered developers who, may I reiterate, were not the original developers who actually sold the game. The act of selling one thing and changing it to another was something I rallied against when I saw it back in broken and greedy games in the past, and it's something I feel most should stand against here. In the Steam reviews, I've selected two comments, one negative and one positive, that I feel summarize the sentiment surrounding this outrage. The negative comment very simply reads, ESG update just dropped, a recognition of another unsatisfying trend in gaming, more on that soon, but the positive comment reads, game's good and all, but people are angry because what they paid for was taken away from them, valid reason to complain. So what is the ESG, with interest to your time, of course? The three seconds or less answer is, Saints Row Reboot. Games are censoring themselves to appeal to the ESG by removing things including but not limited to any of the grit, any of the edge, uh, things as simple as flirting, uh, attractive women, women who can be scantily clad like their male counterparts. Yeah. One of my least favorite things done to appeal to the ESG is forcing changes in the dialogue when translating to English, I'd say it effectively strips the charm from many characters, but it in fact robs them of character entirely by tiptoeing around the sensibilities of an ethics department that, in some cases, is available and involved from the very earliest stages of crafting these games. I love the phrase removing the dinosaur from Jurassic Park, but the ESG, quite frankly, is who will take an R-rated slasher with blood and tits that you'd love and tries to change it into a PG-13 spooky comedy instead with, with jokes about student loans because that's the only thing these new writers have experience with. I gotta force in diversity so that it looks like a deceptive college brochure. Necessary wheelchair in there. Got just like an Asian guy on the side like, man, I, somehow I'm here, you know what I mean? I could, be, I could be doing way better. I think the Asian is too good for this college. Safe, sanitized, cringe. Shit icing for a bad writing cake. And we're told if we don't like it, then we must be bigots. Why else would we not immediately want to fund and fall head over heels in love for these mandatory ugly women who must be covered head to toe? Otherwise, it's sexist. But it's okay, because they come in two styles. Boyish style and the I hope you didn't have lunch style. 
Curves were never an option when the very thought of this harmless Lara Croft triggers the fat, lonely he-she cucks calling themselves developers these days. So of course the quality of these games suffer, because anyone with talent would be right to flee these projects so woke and too afraid to be real, funny, genuine, anything that people could actually identify with. But the funniest part to me is always that these new people that inherit this property that was previously successful, the 343 of it all, the new volition of it all, they can't even coast on a wave, a massive wave, created by the less diverse and actually talented, passionate people who came before you. Because you're all always so delusional that you believe that you can enhance something by breaking it when it didn't need fixing. Of course, you try to conceal your degeneracy. You're sandwiching the removal of content with other changes claiming racial sensitivity and avoiding hate group symbolic. Oh, we don't want to sexualize stuff, right? So anybody who has a problem with it must just be blank because that argument worked out real well for Hogwarts Legacy boycotters, right? I guess since I loved Hogwarts, I just must be, oh man, you might, you might as well tattoo that trend brand right on my wrist and give me my black and white striped cisgender pajamas so I can submit to the gas chamber the echo chamber that you pussies inhabit you've got us hetero niggas fucked up we don't speak but you're bud lighting yourselves nigga and it's gonna be real late by the time you find out you out of a fucking paycheck. Makes sense, nigga. We do not care how many pubes that you can cough up every hour. And people defending the change of what people have paid for. This censorship is posthumous. Because Hidden Variable has killed. And I congratulate, you know, bro, I congratulate you, man. This is all anybody knows y'all for. Y'all inherited this game. And this is what you've chosen to do. You have achieved your goal in aligning with the modern gaming and the non-existent modern audience that are just like loudmouth Tumblr descendants on Twitter. And your current game and whatever you make in the future will see genuinely hilarious profits. Beta tester, remember, this boy from Digital Foundry who is so triggered by Stellar Blade's protagonist I show you these clips to give you insight into the people who are in this industry that don't want people to have choice. They want what they dislike to not exist. Because like the, with the camera angles chosen, it just felt like this game seems like a, a game that came out in like 002 in terms of its, you know, like character design. Okay, pretty women are dated according to this it's guy. Like a bit old and, and not flattering i don't think for a modern audience wow for a modern audience in, in comparison to something like forspoken which has you know uh i mean yes it has a much more realistic looking character designs uh it's not these hyper proportioned uh something or another's but white boy saw a nice ass and said hyper proportioned something or another's you think I like showing you these clips all the time of these developers fighting their fans talking about we're not backing down and we don't want to punch down. <laughs> Call of Duty said we don't want to punish shooters in the shooter for their trans Call of Duty game. They said somebody said leave children alone. Call of Duty said remove him from the game. Nope. That's not what we stand for here at Call of Duty. Mortal Kombat said, those women better put on some clothes. You're hitting yourselves here. And we have been pretending it's not funny for long enough. Skullgirls developer removed art made for a cancer drive. It's removed a bunch of cops beating a black guy with a cop depicted as a literal oink oink pig. They removed it because it was racially insensitive. And homie, I disagree. Fucking You're not protecting who you claim you're protecting. You're censoring art. Depiction does not mean endorsement. Talking about it is not okay and bad guys shouldn't exist because it's triggering to you. 
everyone at the concert better snap instead of clapping because, oh, the noise. You are not in the majority. So do people get a refund for the game that is no longer the game they paid for? Don't mind me. I'm just updating content for modern audiences. See this? This is you happily waving bye to any integrity you had left. Glad I never bought anything from you guys. I'm keeping me money. Had this on my wish list because the art and style looked pretty interesting. Will no longer even consider buying it due to retroactive sense. You guys had a porn artist design one of your characters, but now you say sexual content is too much? You're not very bright, are you? I guess you guys saw what happened to Forspoken and Fable and figured you wanted to join the race to the bottom? R.I.P. Skullgirls. Your six fans were clutching their pearls for the entirety of the last 11 years. Much appreciated. Joking aside, you guys nearly beat Melee and made it to Evo back when you were unapologetically unique. I guess Bullet dodged.